So let's build out this map. And what was I talking about? Hex spins. Hex spins uh, are slick looking and fun. And those are always two good things to have in your visualization tool. So what am I going to do here? So I got a measure that is uh, the amount of hot dogs eaten. And then I have a lat and a long. So let's go ahead and go to lat long. And we'll drop latitude and longitude here. And it's going to plot all these. And you can see, so I kind of generated this data set for the Great Lakes states in Ontario. Now, it had a slightly liberal definition of what counts as a Great Lakes state, like Halifax, uh, not uh, one of the Great Lakes states, but that's okay. Um, now, what we're going to do here is if you go ahead and take a look at, um, let's drop hot dog consumption into uh, point color as well. And now I'm going to go into the properties of the visualization. And in the lat long layer, I'm going to switch this to hex bin. Okay. So what does this do? It kind of does a summary and creates these, you know, hexes on the screen, which is nice. Um, if you zoom in, you will eventually get to the point where you can see the individual dots, right? So this is kind of a uh, visual aggregation of the data. Let's full screen this. Um, That just frees up. Oh, I didn't like that. Herm. Give a sec. Well, I don't know why that just locked up, but I have a pre-built example of it over here that I'll show you. So, um, so here's the same data, okay? And now what can you do with this? Uh, one thing you can do is if you click on the pitch and bearing and then you use the arrow keys, you can see that these are actually 3D. <laughs> so uh, it's almost like Google Maps, kind of like, uh, or like uh, not a street view, but I mean, you can go down to street view in, in uh, Cognos. Um, so, uh, and the, you can see, you can zoom way in. And so the height represents uh, a unit of measure for these and you have control over how tall these things are. So if I go into the properties and we look at, um, so hex radius, you can control how big the hexes are, right? So if I were to like shrink this down, you see now there are many more tiny hexes. If I make this really big, right? Then we just get giant hexes. So you can control the size of the hexes and then you can also control the min and max height. So if I were to add, you know, uh, increase this by one, now you can see they get really tall, right? This is this is almost looks like a city, right? This is this is the hot dog sky, the the skyline of hot dog consumption is what this is. Now it doesn't just work with lat long, okay? It works with points and regions. So if I go into points, I'm not going to build it using points, um, but um, you can see that I can choose hex bin as a type for the point layer, and then regions. Um, you can see that it also has. Uh, is this the right? release it is the right place yeah um you can see here in regions that you have uh the same capability um should say it in here the height of the hex bins it probably is not appearing because i don't have it configured but in any case you can do it lots of different ways right so it's not just that long you can do it with regions and if you do it with regions it will actually be like the outline so i did this once with states and it was the outline of the state that was like 3d so it is actually the shape of the state itself um, so that is a pretty slick, uh, feature, I think. Um, and then this is something, you know, that you can, you can interact with. It's fully interactive and all that sort of stuff, just like it would have been with a regular map type. Um, so the hex bin map, that's a new thing that, that is added and that exists in reporting too. I won't show you an example in reporting, but it's exactly the same. So this is not restricted to dashboards. It's in report authoring as well.